Holy smokers, folks, this ain't no jokers, and yeah, I'm borrowing that from one of my friends, but oh my gosh, this is big breaking news on what Mike Pence and President Donald Trump just said about the next rounds of stimulus. This, of course, is coming on the heels of jobs numbers coming in, totally the reverse of what was expected. Three million job gains. This is unbelievable compared to the negative that was expected. This is, as they have said in their speeches, a turning point for America, but let's get into what they're talking about regarding stimulus. They had some things to say about stimulus. And of course, take a look at the Weeble app today. Oh my gosh, Carnival up 23, almost 24%. The Simon Property Group, 19%. The market is just going nuts today. I mean, you could have thrown a dart and bought anything within the last two months and you would be having a very good day today. This is shocking and I am now coining a new term, SOMO instead of FOMO. That is, sadness of missing out is worse than the fear of missing out. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, folks, let's get started here. So here's a scoop. I watched Mike Pence on CNBC this morning, and let somebody in the comments say, oh, CNBC, I don't care what platform it is. I'm going to listen to the people where they're talking. Mike Pence was on CNBC, so I show up. I listen so I can get the stimulus information. Here's the thing. He was directly asked by Jim Cramer this morning. Do you plan to coalesce with the Democrats on the $3 trillion plan? Him, which of course he kind of avoided answering, but he did say, we'll work in good faith to put the interest of American families and businesses first. We're going to put pro-growth policies in place and that's what Trump is advancing. We'll do whatever it takes and we've got to have a payroll tax cut. Now, I've got more things coming from what Donald Trump said. Stay tuned for this, but these are really good confirmations so far on they're wanting to spend more money. Now, the uh, both of them, Mike Pence and Donald Trump, of course, took the opportunity to slam, uh, will kind of poison the well for uh, Joe Biden that, well, if the Democrats get in, they're going to push the Green New Deal. They're going to do a war on coal. They're going to have uh, higher taxes and that's going to mess things up. And uh, Mike Pence mentions, look, hey, you know what? America is going to have a great choice in November. People's savings are up and uh, we have a lot of faith in our economy and so on and so forth. And that's, you know, they're trying to take as much credit as they can for what's happening in the market right now. Okay, let's move on. Mike Pence ends his talk on CNBC by saying, we've got to have pro-growth policies. He reiterates that. And then for a third time in his talk, reiterates, and that's going to include a payroll tax cut. Remember what that means for you. That means if you're a worker, that's about 7.65% in your pocket. We'll, we'll talk more about that in just a moment and how that might work. Now, about an hour later, Donald Trump uh, came out and uh, made his sort of, like, I don't know if you could really call it a speech because it seemed like he was kind of just talking. But anyway, he started off by slamming Warren Buffett for selling the airlines and basically saying, you know, even smart people sometimes get things wrong. And he said that sort of in the same sentence as kind of blaming the economists for saying, hey, you know what? They thought we were going to have bad employment numbers. Look at the employment numbers. Everybody thought it was a mistake. Up three million. Nope, it's because of me in so many words. Like, look at all the great policies policies we've got. This is just a classic political speech, right? We care about the stimulus stuff, which the interesting thing is Donald Trump says, hey, you know what? This is kind of like a hurricane, not a recession. And that's actually relates a lot to me because I grew up in South Florida and I lived through a lot of hurricanes. I mean, hurricanes, what he said is kind of true. Like after a hurricane, you go out and you start picking all the pieces back up and you're back to work the next day. You take the shutters off, everybody's out, everybody's talking again, and boom, it's over. Uh, you know, that's not to make light of the devastation that happened during the hurricane, right? So I kind of actually appreciated that analogy, but it's important to know what they're thinking because it's going to lead to, okay, well, what, what are they thinking about stimulus? Does this mean they're done with stimulus? No, they're not done with stimulus. Stay tuned for this. So this is a good line right here. Well, about not so good for maybe governors, but he says, some governors will need a little help, but I think for the most part, they're in good shape. So Donald Trump, like, literally just kind of cast aside states and governors in terms of stimulus, which is not so good for the governors. But let's get to the part where he's actually interested in us, uh, which, again, I just want to be very, very clear here. I'm not taking sides. Y'all know I'm, I'm meet. I'm not taking sides, Kevin. OK, and I haven't even had my cup of coffee yet. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm bouncing off the walls. The, you just watching me is probably going to increase the likelihood of you needing to have life insurance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do have a link down below for life insurance and you could get two free stocks with that stock trading platform Weeble, which is, by the way, what I use every day to kind of track what's going on in the market, see where my winners are and my losers are. Uh, so that way I know what to buy and, and what to, you know, keep an eye on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, now. 
Let me mention vaccine and stimulus comments from Donald Trump. Donald Trump mentioned that the vaccine is coming. He says, we're going to have a vaccine soon based on knowledge, based on the knowledge I have. I said it would be the end of the year. I think it could be sooner. The vaccine is easy by comparison to our military. And then he signed the PPP changes. This is the Paycheck Protection Program plan changes for extending the PPP term for uh, up to 24 weeks instead of the eight weeks. It gives you loopholes if you can't hire your employees back. It gives you the right to spend more money on fixed costs and rent and things and overhead rather than just payroll. That is now officially law. That's done. Then they uh, Pence came up again and said, look, the American comeback begins today. Larry Kudlow comes up and says, hey, you know, on May 12th, only 50% of small businesses had reopened. By late May, we're up at 79% of businesses are reopened. Kevin Hassett comes up and says, we have a lot of left uh, work left to do. And here we go, folks. Donald Trump, the big T comes out and says, We'll be going for a payroll tax cut. That's literally like the eighth time we have heard this just today. And I'm going to talk about the other thing he said here as well, because it's big. But just keep in mind, so you can do this math yourself really quick, okay? Remember what a payroll tax cut means for you. If you make $50,000 and they cut payroll taxes for the next six months, let's say, right? That means you're going to make $25,000 in the second half of the year, if you make $50,000 a year. Multiply that by 0.0765. That's roughly the stimulus that you would have in your pocket with a payroll tax cut. Now, no clear indication as to what this means if you're on retirement or disability and you're not working. So just a heads up, no mention for those of you, and I feel bad about that, but right now, no mention that. However, he did go on to say, we're going to be bigger and stronger than ever before. We're going to create tremendous incentives for businesses and most importantly for the people. We are going to have, quote, additional stimulus money. Once we get this going, it'll be bigger. That's the economy. The economy is going to be bigger. We're going to be doing things for restaurants and various pieces of the entertainment industry. We'll be announcing it pretty soon. Our borrowing cost is zero. Now, other than the payroll tax cut, it is a little vague in terms of what he means by additional stimulus is coming. We got payroll tax cut. We got the, you know, deductions possibly for entertainment, travel, restaurants. We've kind of heard rumors about that. We just heard it from Donald Trump's uh, voice himself. And, uh, well, we know that a big announcement is coming now. So this is pretty big news and, and a distillation of two hours of this stuff. So uh, definitely consider sharing this with your friends and family. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to get life insurance, get your two free stocks with Weeble, consider joining me in the courses. You can join the free Discord chat. And oh my gosh, thank you all so much for your support. This is crazy. And congratulations if you had bought stocks and if you have not bought stocks yet, well, don't feel bad. There are always opportunities to buy stocks. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody really appreciate your support. Check out Lauren's vlog. Lauren posted a new video yesterday. So check out her new video and folks, we will see you next time.